This fall, the University of Texas rewarded athletic director Chris Del Conte with a new contract and a big raise. But the work he's done the last several years? Priceless. Here's our latest Power of Sports series. Chris, the, the power of sports, they can shape people's lives. I mean, these are our careers here. How did you get involved in sports growing up, and how did you know that you wanted it to be a part of your life? I never imagined growing up being an athletic director. I grew up in Taos, New Mexico, in a children's home. Um, there was 85 kids. We were just going through life. And one of the kids that uh, was at the ranch named Larry Platero went out for sport 1978, 79, and uh, made the football team. We lived 30 miles out of town. He made the football team, and two days later, someone from town made a call to the ranch to talk to him. And we're like, holy cow, you got a call from the town? We got teased by people in town. We were, we were known as the ranchers. We were known as the children's home way out of town. He went out for sport, but got popular. He got prom date. People were looking at him like differently just because of sport. Hell, the next day, we all joined athletics in a hurry. We want, whatever he has, we're drinking. And we wanted it because it was not about succeeding on the playing field, it was about being accepted. So we, sport has always been a huge part of my life just from a standpoint is what you learn on the field, leadership skills, how to, how to win, how to lose, how to battle, grit. But more importantly, that field doesn't lie. If you're the best, you will play. It doesn't care how rich you are, how poor you are. If you can play, you'll play. When did you realize that knowledge of Because I'm sure you didn't know that when you were playing, but when did it get to the point where you wanted to focus on a career like this, where you can help mold people? Well, you know, it was interesting. At the time, uh, uh, my father, who ran the children's home, and then started working for the UN, I thought I was going to follow suit with him. And as a young person, he always said, that, Chris, you need to be three things. You better be humble, you better be honest, and your life you will serve other people. You will serve other people. So those things were always ingrained in me uh, through him. Uh, and he was a, a devout, worked for Catholic ministries. He was in seminary. He was pretty much, uh, in my mind, as close to God as you're going to get growing up, right? And so I lived with him, and all of a sudden when he, um, when it was time to make a career choice, a, a house parent at the ranch was working at uh, Washington State in the, in the doctor's office, and he called and said, I'll get you a job in athletics. All right, that would be great. So I mowed the lawn. I worked in the maintenance department for four years. And when I said, I'm going to make this a career, I had to tell my father why and how sport will impact society more than wins and losses. And here's what it does for a community. And he agreed. And that, here we go. The rest is history. As a college athletic director, too, now you're in a place where you can impact students at a pretty formative time in their careers, both professionally and from an athletic standpoint. How does that responsibility help shape kind of your day-to-day -day life? Well, we, every time I meet with a student athlete, I always tell them, sport is what you do, it's not who you are. When you come to college, our job is to define who you are. You got here because of your athletic talent. The next four or five years are gonna shape the rest of your life. And we're gonna accentuate who you are and what you wanna become and what you wanna major in and how you're gonna give back to society through education. But up until this point, sport has defined them. And college is where, where we, we, we define who they are, not what they do. At the University of Texas, this is a very visible program as well. Kids grow up, they wear memorabilia, they dream of becoming Longhorns. From that standpoint, from the responsibility of a student athlete, for the role model that you get to play and these athletes get to play, what do you like about what you can mold the, the next generation of students and athletes? Oh, it's ever changing. The sport doesn't change, right? The sport, the game has minor tweaks. What changes just evolution of young people coming up. So I think all the time, I just really focus on, you hire coaches to coach games, and coaches sometimes, well I know, a coach is the most influential person in a kid's life. Because they believe in a child when a child doesn't believe in himself. And they push them to places they never thought possible. And when they look back, they go, that was horrible. But oh my gosh, look what we accomplished. I never thought I could do that. That's what great coaches do, and they encourage, and they love, and they, and, and, and they push and they challenge. And when that whole experience is over, you can go back and say, that is tremendous. And on my, job, my side is to mold and shape that entire conversation on and off the field with coaches, with student athletes, with staff, um, and asking donors and, and season ticket holders and fans to participate in our journey. For more on the power of sport, visit sanantoniosports.org. We'll be right back after this.